Hi, I'm Joel Sweeney. The theme for this month's broadcast is Facing Fear. This theme really ties nicely into my area of expertise, which is oral communication, but I guess most notably into public speaking and presentation skills, because I think it's safe to say that most of us are reasonably comfortable in the one-on-one -on -one and one-on-a-few scenarios where our anxiety levels would be very, very low because we don't see that as a threatening kind of environment. What we do see as threatening is when we have to get up in front of a group of people to give a speech or give a presentation, whether that be uh, some kind of public function or some kind of work-related function. Those scenarios tend to be very uh, stressful for us. And so it's not surprising when you think about it, though. Uh, the Book of Lists has identified on multiple occasions that our fear of speaking outranks our fear of death by a margin as high as two to one. So if you're experiencing extreme anxiety, rest assured that you're not alone. The other thing to keep in mind is that you need to be, you need to be patient with yourself. Uh, you need to make sure that you give yourself time. You gotta be like the little baby that starts to walk for the first time. It doesn't walk on the first attempt, the second attempt, the third attempt, the fourth attempt. It may take a hundred attempts, it may take more, but the baby continues to try until it walks. The same is true when it comes to dealing with our anxiety around public speaking. Uh, we, and one of the things I would suggest is that we look and strive to manage our anxiety, not to eliminate it. If we strive to eliminate it, we're probably setting ourselves up for an unrealistic goal and not going to achieve it. However, we can indeed strive to manage our anxiety. Having a little bit of anxiety is good for us. It ensures that we pay attention to what we're doing, how we're connecting with our audience, how we're delivering our message, how we've even crafted our message. So putting our energy into that and that focus will in, in, indeed help to manage our anxieties. So in the process of focusing on those things, we're bringing our anxiety levels down. And look for other ways. Maybe remember to keep trying until you achieve it. Don't look for success on the very first presentation or the very first speech or the second speech or the third speech or the fourth. Whatever it is, you try until you do. And speaking is a doing thing, so you have to do it. It's not something that you can sit back in the corner and you know, think yourself into it. You actually have to get out and do it because it's only through that experience that you really move forward. You've got to step outside your comfort zone in order to achieve that. That's your tip for this month. Now go out and make your voice heard.